All right, guys, we're on our uh, 2019 BMW X3. And per a request of one of the viewers, uh, he wanted to see if this scan tool, this is the uh, Think Car 689BT, will register uh, both the main battery and auxiliary battery, and if it will retract the calipers so that he can put brake pads on his uh, car. Now, he has a 2017 X5. So we can assume that if it's going to work on this vehicle, that it should work on a 2017 X5. But, uh, and, you know, unless he buys the tool and uh, does the same thing, we, we won't know. But at least we're going to know if it's going to work on this vehicle. Let's ID the vehicle. One cool thing about this particular scan tool is when you plug it into the diagnostic port, it automatically energizes the ignition. So you don't actually push the button yourself. Kind of interesting. And let's see. I'm going to go into special functions. And you'll see that the dash shuts off, the display shuts off, and it, I don't know if it kind of reboots the car or what. Okay, so we've just got to figure out where this is going to be. Now, I can already see down at the bottom it says battery modification and battery replacement. So I want to go ahead and click that to start with. And it says battery change or register battery replacement. Um, I don't know if that's going to be. I don't want to register this battery. It's still the factory battery, and it's still rocking and rolling. And I don't want to register it and have the charging system uh, think that it's a brand new battery. So this is as far as I'm going to go on this screen, but it does look like that you can change like from a lead acid to AGM or vice versa, or change the capacity of the battery uh, from this screen. Let's go back and let's go to, uh, we'll go to, we'll go to body first. And we're going to see what's under body. Okay, so there's another, there's auxiliary battery for PCU battery, register battery exchange. So that's the aux battery. So, and it does look like that this scanner has got the ability to do that, register battery exchange. So uh, we're going to go ahead and go back. Uh, I do not want to end the service. Actually, I do. Do you want to end the service function? Yes. Okay, so it will register the auxiliary battery. I would have thought that the uh, regular battery would be in this same menu. Okay, there's register battery replacement. So there's the main battery. And then there's another option, registering lithium ion battery exchange. Some of these cars actually came with lithium ion battery. Uh, I don't think this one has it. This one does have an auxiliary battery under the hood. I thought that was for the start-stop system. And then you've got the main battery in the trunk area. So it, it looks like it will register any kind of battery on the vehicle to me. So there's the battery question. Should have been taken care of, I hope. And now let's go to chassis which I believe is where the uh, the brake procedure would be. Brake line mix-up test. Okay, workshop mode, electromechanical parking brake. So I'm going to click that, and we're going to go ahead and see if this scan tool will retract the calipers. I'm going to want you guys to hear this, so I'm going to put the camera outside the door and I'm going to hit continue activate service position I'm going to hit F1 has been selected release the parking brake is released actuate the foot brake pedal the parking brake actuate the foot brake and press the parking brake button release of okay it is already released so I'm not going to worry about that 
uh, we're going to hit continue and we're going to hit continue again and we should hear the hopefully you just heard that and it should come up on the screen yeah what's this say and the next step diagnosis is used to check whether okay so now i'm going to hit continue again and it's going to check to make sure that they are retracted it sounds like okay and you can read all that uh, basically it's telling you that it is in the service position so now i'm going to hit so now at this point you would go ahead and replace your uh, pads you could go ahead and shut the car off whatever place your pads and then fire the car back up and then hit uh continue and now you're going to select deactivate service position so f2 and i'm going to hit continue and what's going to happen is we're going to hear the brake calipers uh reseat the brakes and then they're going to back off once they sense that the brake pads are compressed uh, or under pressure, it's going to relax the uh, calipers. And there you go. So it seems that it worked just fine. I'm going to hit continue again. Continue again. And then that's it. We're going to hit F3 to end the service function. Hit continue. Get out of that. So it looks like it uh, did the brake uh, caliper maintenance mode just fine. And it looks like it would register the auxiliary battery, uh, the lithium ion battery, and the main battery. So anyway, this was the uh, Think Car 689BT on a 2019 BMW X3. We're done. You guys take care. We'll see you.